Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make my dad's homemade salsa recipe. So shout out to my dad, Kirk Collier, uh, for teaching me this. It's not very hard at all, but it's very yummy and it can be adjusted based on if you um, like a lot of heat or just a little. Um, it's really good um, with everything. I make it all the time and it's really easy. So I'll show y'all. Okay, so here we have all our ingredients. We have about a handful of fresh cilantro. I love cilantro, so I put a lot, um, but you can adjust it based on how much you like. And then we have one semi de-seeded jalapeno. If you wanna leave all the seeds in, you like a lot more uh, kick to your salsa, then you can do that, or you can completely uh, de-seed it. But one jalapeno, and then we have um, Rotel, I have the mild kind. You can adjust it, like I said, whether or not you like a lot of heat. Um, and then you have Hunt's Fire Roasted Diced Tomatoes. This is key. Um, I've tried making it with just regular diced tomatoes, but I really love the fire roasted. It just gives it a different flavor. And then we have minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want, but this is all I have right now. So that is what I will use. And that's what I normally use. And then I just use um, salt and pepper as well. Just kind of throw it in there. So we'll put this in the blender and get started. So I forgot to mention how much minced garlic. It'll be about one teaspoon and you can adjust it, like I said, according to preference. You see, I have all my ingredients in here. I kind of layer them. I do you know, one of the cans of tomatoes and the cilantro and jalapeno, and then the other can um, in here. And you can make a big, as big a batch as you want. You see, I put my salt and pepper um, on top there, and then we will put the lid on and try not to make a mess and see how it goes. And I just do a uh, pulse and get it all mixed up. If I can find the button. So that looks about right. I'll check the consistency on that. That looks good. And then you have your salsa and I'll pour it out. If I try to do it while I'm filming, I will make a mess. Stay tuned. Okay, I am being brave and I'm gonna pour it out while videoing. Don't quite have a camera crew in here this morning, um, but this will do. And it's coming out nicely. There we go. I like not too much of a chunky salsa. This is kind of an in-between. Um, you see all that cilantro. It's going to taste really good tonight um, with chips and Mexican stuffed sweet potatoes. New recipe I'm trying. Um, so that's that. I hope you can do it yourself and enjoy some homemade salsa.